Michelle, as you know, Uber has been operating here in Boise since October of last year. They've been doing so illegally, and that's because they don't have a business license to operate here in the city of Trees. And because they don't have that business license, they've been giving away hundreds of thousands of free rides. Cab companies say those free rides are cutting into their bottom line, and they want Uber gone. Fast and convenient, Uber is quickly becoming a very popular method of public transportation. I've really enjoyed my time. I meet some super interesting people um, from all over the world. The ride sharing company has more than 100 drivers operating in Boise. None of them can charge a fare. Uber isn't a licensed business in the city of Trees. And just last week, the city rejected an interim operating agreement, which would have allowed Uber to charge. Uber made what I think was kind of a, a difficult choice when they came in with no advance notice and just began to operate. We really are concerned about the safety of our citizens. That roadblock by the city was welcomed by cab owners. They say free Uber rides are hurting business. We've seen a base drop of 40% since Uber came to town. Uber is the Walmart of taxi, call, taxi cab companies. Ted Griffin is part owner of ABC Taxi. He's frustrated with the lack of regulations for Uber. Had the city approved the interim operating agreement with Uber, Uber would have been required to follow regulations in this five-page document. Compare that with 45 pages worth of regulation for taxi cab companies. That is a lot. Those regulations for cabs can be costly. To license a single cab in the city, an owner is charged a licensing fee of $190, all the way down to a $1.50 processing fee. It adds up to $362 a year per car. Under the rejected agreement, Uber would have only paid $190 for all of its vehicles. We have paid thousands of dollars every single year to have our cabs on the road, and we do. You know, between the inspections, the permits, and everything else, then allow us some less restricted volume to where we can actually make as much money as they are. Costs aside, cab companies have a list of requirements they must meet to operate. Each cab must have a unique color scheme and every car must be insured with $500,000 in liability insurance. Uber would have been required to have a $1 million policy for all of its vehicles. This last taxi that I put on cost me almost $15,000 to put that taxi on. Also, each cab must be operated by someone older than 18, pass a city shop inspection, and have an operational top light. The 45 pages of regulations for taxis and five for Uber are maddening for Griffin. I don't understand even why we need Uber at all. Now, it is important to point out that because the city council did not approve that interim operating agreement, Uber can still not charge in the city of Boise. So if you do take an Uber, you should not be paying for it. I did reach out to an Uber spokesperson today. I have not heard back from them. The Boise City Council will be meeting next week to start drafting an ordinance to regulate Uber and its charging in the city. We will be at that meeting and let you know what happens. For now, we're live in Boise. Chris Oswald, six on your side.